Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video I'm super excited for because I'm going to be playing, or I have played, <laughs> with the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Primal Palette. It just looks so beautiful. This is the colour story. Such a beautiful colour story. So yes, guys, if you would like to see how I created this look and hear my first thoughts on the Primal Palette, then just keep on watching. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to start with Instinct. Beautiful purple. If you can hear the traffic outside, I'm so sorry. Um, my window has to be open because it's so hot in here. Anyways, let's crack on. So I'm just going to keep this to the outer outer area of my lid and crease. I am going to bring it bring it outwards. I have been so excited to try this palette because um, I do have the Surge and I adore it. It's just such an amazing palette. So I thought, well, for one, I wanted this because it looked beautiful, but also I think it would make an amazing companion palette for the Surge. I love the design, how they've done like the row of pastels, row of kind of mid stroke neony kind of shades and then the deep ones. I just think it is such a brilliant cohesive palette. It's one that you can look at just like for a split second look at and you can see looks because you've got the rows. I like that. I think that makes it kind of more versatile for everybody. I just want to make sure I take this kind of straight out. There we go. This is an absolutely gorgeous purple. It's beautiful. So I am just kind of tapping out the edges a little bit just so that when it comes to adding the next shade it's not too difficult to blend on although this matte formula is just so easy to work with okay so I think do I want to yes so the next shade I'm going into is this one here warning and I'm just going to take that kind of 50% on, 50% off, just all the way along. So I'm not doing as much blending at the moment. It's more getting the colour down. This is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning, beautiful shade. I'm just going to wiggle over the edges to make the next shade easier to blend on. Okay, let's have a think. I think I'm next going into Untamed. I think this is going to look beautiful. So again, the 50% on, 50% off, more of a kind of stamp wiggle kind of thing. Um, I'm not good with all the technical terminology. <laughs> yeah, this, this colour is beautiful. And then... I'm going to go into Ray Yellow. Oh, it looks a bit crazy right now, but it will come together, I promise. I'm 
the same again with 50% on, 50% on. That's really showing up. I do love a good yellow. Okay, I'm just going to blend back through all of the colours and yeah, come back to continue. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything. Not to turn around Throw it away See if you'll let go of me Okay, so for some reason my my camera stopped working and I've already done the shimmers so I'm just gonna let you know which ones I've popped on Typical. Um, so the first one I went in with on the outside is Morph, the blue, blue purple, um, and then Pheromone in the centre, and then Feral on the inner part of my lids. Um, they perform beautifully. They're the putty-like texture, but I used brushes, they picked up fine on the brushes. I did use flat ones, um, like this. Um, but yeah, I had zero issues with them. I think they look beautiful. I'm so sorry that, yeah, my camera just decided that, yeah, it didn't want to film the shimmers, so. I am going to nip off, stick on my base, and then I will come back and we'll do the lower lash line together. So if you'd like to see that, then just stay where you are. Okay guys, so I'm back to do the lower lash line. I've got all my base on. So I'm going to start with ink. And I'm just gonna take that right up against the lash line and then just to connect it, connect it to the upper lid. I do have to say, this is just so easy. And then I think I'm gonna dip into, am I? Yeah, I'm gonna dip into camouflage, the green. I'm keeping it a bit closer to the lash I'm not fully blowing it out okay looking beautiful and then I think yeah I am I'm gonna go into toxin I've been dying to show. try these greens This is just working beautifully. What a beautiful shade. Yes, I am. I am loving how this is looking right. So I think for my inner part of my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Regal, that cold. So I think, I don't think any of these shades are going to be quite um, bright enough uh, for inner corner and brow bone. Yeah, I'm just picking up a little bit of time. Yeah. Mm. 
beautiful. Ooh, yep. I I love this. So I'm gonna nip off, finish my face, then I will come back to show you the finished look and let you know what my first thoughts are of the Primal Palette from Blim Bunny Cosmetics. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I am back with the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, and guys, let me know if you have this palette, if you do what you think of it. So, the Primal Palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Firstly, this packaging is just, oh, it's beautiful. And the letters are all scales, which for many of you know, I keep snakes and I appreciate some scales and the butterflies. Um, they're slightly raised, the same as the writing here, um, which I think is beautiful. And I love the leopard print behind, behind the writing. Oh, beautiful. And then on the back, you've got the cute little Lem Bunny symbol. I love that. And then inside, there's no mirror, which is fine by me, because when it's a bigger palette like this, um, I can't hold that and use it as a mirror. But it's got the that leopard print how beautiful is that it's got like the dark faded into i think it looks gorgeous oh the palette i haven't tried the black or white yet i don't know why i think i was just so drawn to some of these colors um but every single shade i use just perform beautifully they're pigmented they blend beautifully um I was fully expecting that because the Surge palette is amazing. It's got the same kind of putty textured shimmers, um, but they do pick up on a brush. That's how I use them. Um, unfortunately, you didn't get to see that because my camera decided not to work. Um, but yeah, anyways, I used um, what are these? one, two, three, four, four of the shimmers. Um, so I've still yet to use Potent or slither um, but I think I used a good few shades um, to create this look I had no issues whatsoever oh I love it guys I love it and guys if you have say the Surge palette and you love the formula then you you're gonna love this guys this is amazing it's so beautiful outer packaging color story i love how they've done it so you've got rose so if you wanted to just do more of a monochromatic style look you could do that nice easy laid out for you um i love that there's the big black i don't i don't often use white so i don't know how much use i will get out of that but the black most definitely will get a lot of use but yeah i i love the look that I've managed to create with this um it was super easy and yeah i don't know what else i can say so guys if you've liked this please do give it a like if you are new here you're not subscribed already but you like colorful makeup um colorful makeup for over 40s because i'm 40 um and yeah just generally having fun with makeup playing with color then please do hit the subscribe button and come and join my beautiful chameleon family. And yeah, for everybody out there, for everybody watching, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.